last episode in the epilogue, um, a few of my friends were confused on watching the video, and some of you guys probably were too, on the reason like why it kind of felt so like unsaturated, like the colours felt all off. That's because I did that on purpose in editing. That's why it kind of took a while to get out, because I was trying to balance out the colours on each clip perfectly. I'm basically trying to balance out the colour of the clip to match with like what the mood that's going on in the game right now. So let's say it's really terrible or really sad, that's when I desaturate the clip, making more greyish and all that stuff, you know. Like, it was Arthur's death, that's why I made it like that. Or like, if it's really fun, like American Venom, when John finally got his like good ways back and started, you know, enjoying his gunslinging shit and all that. Uh, that's when I super saturated the cliff and brought it back to normal basically. Normal colours and made it all bright and happy again. Do you get what I mean? Like depending on the mood of the clip is the way uh, that depends on what colour the clip will be basically. Like how bright or how unbright it will be. If that makes any sense. So uh, yeah that's why I do take a while to edit as well. That's why there's only been one epilogue episode so far. I don't know when it's going to be out but hopefully soon. Hopefully it won't have to be weekly. What? Get that smuggler coffee face, little bitch. What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? I'm going for little bitches. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur's goddamn voice. Oh, cow. Cow milk. <laughs> cow milk. Uh, thought you'd never ask me to do it again. Like I said before, I'm going to try to spend like, the first part of the upload because there's two parts apparently. Well, this is definitely part one, so I guess it's two parts, unless it's three parts, or maybe four parts, maybe ten parts, for all I know, I don't know. I want to spend part one. What were you trying to do there, you little shit? But I want to spend the first part just, like, focusing on the story, get it out of the way, and then whenever I have part two rolls around, that's when I'm going to start exploring. And just doing other side activities. I promise. What do you want? Agatha. Stupid, ungrateful bitch. How you getting on? Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater? Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun tired John and I guess I was dreaming a little at least give me that just feels hopeless you're, you're doing better Milton Milton ma'am Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office sure I'll take the boy with me he's getting soft Lancelot Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the 
Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. John needs to shave, bro. Look at his beard. I got a strawberry. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about No, all day, bro. It's boring. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. What? Ma was it? Was wrong about that. Hopefully. Here. You want to take the reins a little? Where? I, I don't know, Pa. It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. I don't want to crash, thank you. Bo's gonna be kidnapped, I swear. Alright, here we are. You alright, son? Sure. Cheer up a little. Wait here. I Someone's if can still be wagging, or he's gonna drive off of it. And lose control. I might let you drive us home. What? Oh. Can't wait. <laughs> oh yeah. This is what it's all about. Hi. I'm here to name Jim Millen. My name? Um uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Shut up. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail oh, God. Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Well, I'm worried it's now that guy's up to something. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. Yeah, speed up. Speed up. Slow down, slow down, speed okay? up. Speed uh, up. Sure. Speed up. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Slow it down. Slow down a little. Like we're running away from there. Uh okay. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? There better be some random NPC. I can't control anything anymore. Ah. Uh. Keep driving. Okay. Hey. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Shut up. Stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, 
and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Jump down and hide! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. So you do. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Mm, nope. No? Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh, whatever. You threaten the kids, Why? you ain't getting away with that. It's okay, it's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. I went about them to let them get away with threatening the little boy. Yeah. We're out of here. Let's go, Jack. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Trust me, you've been, <laughs> you've been around way worse. Real brave back there. Real brave. Where am I going? Exactly like I said. Where? Really? Oh. Uh -huh. I have no idea where I've just gone. Things could have gone real wrong for us. Just stay on the road. Damn, poor kid. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm hmm. What was it called? Mm hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Damn. How old is Jack? Like, only like 10? 11? Maybe 12? I don't think he's any older than 13. Damn, Abigail is gonna okay, not be so ha happy with us. Uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the? What happened? Yeah, it's, I don't, we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then we... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Uh... It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hmm. I don't think it's anyone's fault. It's not Abigail, it's not Jack's, it's not ours. It's just one of them things. Mr. Motherhood. Jim? Great. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt uh, someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Be careful, John. That's him. I see him. 
Thanks, Abe. Could be somebody who doesn't particularly like us, so uh, be careful. What you want, there, boy? Oh, dog. Hi. How you doing? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something. Sadie! Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Stop. What? Oh, full stop. I get you. I think, I think that's what it means. Sadie! She's alive then! She made it out! I was wondering what happened to her after everything. Oh, uh, it's not a setup, that is. I hope it's not. Better not be a goddamn setup. Hmm. Well. Ah, crap. Darling no. John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Yeah, what's this gift? <laughs> a shirt, a dress, what? <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Well, keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. God damn Abigail. Gotta be such a goddamn goddamn she goddamn goddamn. Return to work. Alright, I'm guessing I'm gonna milk the cows, clean the stale stools and fix the fans. I was gonna say I better be buddy you know giving birth again. Or should I say birth in and of cow bitch. Cow I mean My wife's not here right now, so can't squeeze milk out of her anymore, so, uh, you know what, let's, let's just, let's just, yeah.
we've been at this for a few months now. Well, that's her full. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. While well, I've been in Rancho, it seems kind of fun now. I bet in real life it's just so dead. Actually, no, in real life it's probably fun as well. Hmm, maybe I'll have to take on that lifestyle sometime. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure, I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Young and dumb. The gun or the outfit? Oh, that's his Red Dead 1 outfit. I've seen pictures of it. Wow. Seen that in Red Dead Online as well, people wearing that. Damn, that was cool. SA. Oh my god, what the hell? What? Ten guns? Oh, wait, what? What are these things I have? I got another scuffled. My old loadout, is that, is, that, is that what's giving me my old guns? Oh, it's giving me my old guns! Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Dude, my old stuff. But yeah, my machete and everything. This is my old stuff. As Arthur. Yes. Oh, dude. Finally. I got my stuff back. Oh, finally. Dude, look at this outfit, though. That's cool. What the fuck just started playing? <laughs> what was that? And so, Atherton. A Blackwater. Let's go to Valentine. It's been a while since I've been there. What is this music? Legendary. This big old world 
sure got me running around. I heard a voice that said, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with his feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living. Dude, this music. Dude, it's been a while since I've been in this entire area. Remember our first main actual camp was in Valentine. Or Horseshoe Overlook, should I say. It's crazy. It was that long ago as well, back in February. We now in April. Well, actually, at the time of film this is March, but by the time this is going to be out, we're in April. So, uh, we're in April. Dude, I see it. I think this is it anyway, we're real close. Yeah, this is it. I recognize that tent. We're in Valentine. Well, actually, we're outside of Valentine, but, but we better be in Valentine. Ah, Valentine. Must be new to these parts. Partner? We got enough problems here without you causing more. I'm shaving my beard. Don't try to be something you're not. Don't think I've seen you here Are you before. blind? Welcome. Right then. What'll it be? And hair, actually. Pretty good. I reckon this looks pretty good. Yeah, right. looks, looks better than it did. Howdy, friend. Anyway. Who wants to play poker? Actually, you know, I'm getting any drink. I'm pissed. Whiskey. Oh, hello. Oh, this guy that I totally didn't shoot down in the original. Hi. Hey, partner. Hey, brother. Hey there, Mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I, if I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. Um... I got a woman. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk. But most folk don't like me. Uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and strange. Which... Arthur. I think it was. was it what was his See that. Well, it's been 
fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Goodbye, Mickey. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now you can kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. <laughs> How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. Folks who need shooting, I try to shoot in the back. All that other stuff, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> Don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Uh, never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go find some sad, deluded folks like him? Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Inspect the photograph. Inspect the photographs for details of the gunslinger's location. Fair enough. So now we got to go out and like find four legendary gunslingers. We could do like one episode there. Good way to like add variety to each of the videos. But um, I think we're done here. Well, I'm not allowed to speak to Steady apparently. So just say it right now. With feastables, the old Mr. Beast bar. Though, if you're in the UK, you know what I'm chatting about. We don't get like new formula yet. We, we're stuck with the old ones, but to be fair, these are pretty nice. So, I'm fine. Sadie, about to reunite with Sadie Adler, the Adler of all Sadies. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks <laughs> you, you told me to call a little girl. Drink in peace. I ain't got no business with you right now. What that means. For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? You don't want to be. Yeah. Oh my god. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You. you yeah. Get out of here. She'll kill all of us. Please leave. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? Uh, I've gone straight. Huh? 
Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Bounty on in. Huh? Legendary. I know. Yep, said he's alive, bro. You said you had something to discuss. Yeah. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Of course. I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always say Don't forget by the way, it's been a few months since that telegram came through and she's just been waiting there all this time actually. Brilliant. If we found him I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I don't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Yep. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Hmm. Micah. I wouldn't mind. You know, getting revenge on So he's still alive, man. He didn't die. Uh -huh. He killed my beloved Arthur. Arthur, goddamn Morgan. And he gets to live. God, letting that happen. Dude, there was bounty hunt, bounty hunting opportunities in the mainstream, but I wish I did them more. Oh, uh, you know about Nathan Kirk? Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Ass. You making any progress in that? Hmm. There's, you're cutting through nothing. You seen it? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about forty-five? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Fortnite Season 2 Battle Pass Robots Giveaway? What do you fucking know? Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the welcome center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Mm hmm. Is that place accessible in online? I know. I know we go in there. I'm pretty sure to like speak to Harriet. Was it? I know we speak to someone in online. Here, you know the animal guy. I swear, it's this building. Yeah, 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 it is. Nathan Kirk. Oh no, hotel, hotel owner. You, uh, what do you know? You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. What now? Uh, that's room one. That's room two. So that must mean this is room seven. Uh, math. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? 
Just a friend. Jim Milton. <laughs> I heard you. Wait, wait, what are you doing? No! Go, chase him already! Shoot his horse then. Ah, actually, no, no horses. No harm to goddamn horses. We lasso him and only him. Ah! Well, yeah, the last one in your hand can't get that way. Ah, uh, I'm going. What? Okay, you shot first. Now I get to shoot. Let me get my uh, guns out just in case it sounds like a big battle. I ain't gonna kill him. So why are you running? I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to do that. But you made me. Bitch. Let me let me get a hold of that, whatever you got. Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Hmm. This is persecution! Whatever you say, Where though, bro. Show us in the money. I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. Damn. Nice. We got a job now, technically. Well, another job. A bounty hunting job. Side hustle. After arriving in Strawberry, locate a bounty within 30 seconds. After mounting your horse, catch and hold tight the bounty within what, a minute and 15 seconds. <laughs> I didn't do that. It was kind of weird at first. Just you, Well, you know, after the, the entire chapter 6, we just go from that to, well, cleaning up horse. Don't forget, we went from, like, you know, fighting gang wars, uh, robbing trains, uh, literally being betrayed by our own gang in the most epic cinematic battles, literally fighting a war against the American army, to milking cows, scooping shit, and birthing, birthing horses, what? You have a reason to live. Don't use this for liquor, all right? Get off. You gotta take it. Oh. Thanks, partner. Using ginseng elixir will increase your health XP. Oh. I'm gonna die all alone with nothing, nothing to show for it. I'm sorry. Uh, they're gonna do the thing where the character waits until it's daytime because that's when they want the mission to be set in at daytime. I see, I see. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. 
So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Huh. Hey, lady. Still miss Isaiah, my old horse. So, let's hope we can keep making regular payments. Otherwise, it won't go down to uh, the bank. They'll take our property back. And we don't really want our property to get taken, so, you know. At least we got a bounty hunting gig now. So, we can do that. We need money. Alright, home of the gentry. There are squatters at Beaches Hope that may to be moved on. Yeah, we should probably move them on, but we'll probably move them on. But be, be, be the best idea. You know? So, nice, we got a loan from the bank. All we gotta do is get rid of these squatters and pay back our debt regularly until it's paid off. How much is it gonna cost though? That's the real question. Because we're gonna need a way to make money. I guess we can make money. Can we make money with the ranch? I mean, if we sell up stuff that we get from it, like milk from cows, and maybe. Eggs and chickens. I don't think you can cook eggs, but yeah, I know this is a stupid. Oh, what the fuck? Someone's dead on there. I know this is a stupid question, but could you kick cook eggs back here? You could boil eggs, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you could boil eggs. I don't know if you actually like probably cook them because no one's gonna eat a war. I've eaten war eggs before, so I'm drunk war eggs. Should I say? Yeah, that guy's on the. I don't even want to know. I'm helping the blind. It's this guy that gave us our fortune. This guy, this guy that gave us our fortune a couple times in the main series. I want to help you, but it won't help me. A blind man. Okay. Here. Sure. This guy helped Arthur. Embrace those who love you, not the memory of those who pretended to. Okay. I guess I'll bear that in mind. Ah. So like the actual people that love me. I have nothing more for you now. Who cared about me? You know, you know like Arthur, Sadie, not Dutch or Micah. Those two, those are fake. Alright, uh, is this meant to be? What the fuck is this? A shitty shack? Is that about it? What the fuck would you want to live here? It's just, oh, no, oh, if you buy this whole area of land, actually, never mind. Yeah, you can add stuff. So, I guess it could work. Anyway, there's squatters, so uh, we should probably get rid of them. I see them right there. Uh, hey, can you move kindly? Can yeah. I help you, friend? Yeah, you can move. That's that's helping. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Yeah, I didn't feel that one. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. 
Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. You can just leave. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Full shot. Ass shot. Hand shot. Head shot. Throw shot. Uh, nothing. My scarfy. Nut shot. Nut shot again. I told you guys to leave. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we <laughs> own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you what were. What the, dead. Uncle? Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. 